Mike, you're reading for Eli, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let me know when you're ready and action. I can't stand this day. You know that? Yeah. Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks? I tell you, these little hoodlins are little demons all year. And then on this one night, this one damn night, they amp it up and we, and we reward them? <laughs> I won't stand for it. Not this year. No, sir. Great. Thanks, Michael. Oh, I'm joining SAG this week. I call them. Great. Talk to him. Kevin is next. Kevin is next. Because I don't have him. I don't think I met him. Or not. Did you get him? Okay. Is it personal? Yeah, I got a personal invitation. I just think that on the back of that invitation, I had another audition written. They asked me for proof that I was invited, and I gave them a piece of paper. To oh, okay. Are you auditioning for both roles? What role? Okay. Just either. Oh, just either. Okay. Just, just go stand in the back. Sure. Uh, the gray tape? No, whoa, whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Gray yeah, tape? On the black, yes. Gray tape right there on the black? Yeah. Let me know when you're ready and, I, and start right away because we're yes. time. Are so, you Yossi? Yes. In the very free? Move on. Yossi. Ganti B. Sreya. Come on. Can you one more side? Camera? All right. Uh, in action. Carl Schwaber for Eli. Okay, now what do you need to do first? I can't stand this day, you know that? Giving kids candy? Why? For dressing up? Trying to frighten folks? It's not right, I tell you. These hoodlums are little demons all year. Punks. One day a year they dress up and they expect us to reward them. For what? I'm not standing for this. Not this year. No, sir. Great. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Good talk. I hope so. Huh. Uh, just give that uh, to the front. Th thank you, Carl. Carl, thank you. Kevin, how are you doing, Kevin? Uh, Mark, name and stuff. All right. Kevin Callahan, reading for Eli. Go for it, Kevin. Action. All right, great. I can't stand this day, I tell you. You know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks. It's not right, I tell you. These hoodlums. Our little demons all year, and then on this one night, they amp it up and we reward them. I won't stand for it! Not this year. No, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Okay. Let's get the next one. Here we go? Yeah. Right in the black. Uh, name and, and action. Uh, my name is Mitchell McCullum. This is for Eli. I can't stand this day, you know? I mean, giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to scare folks? It's not right, I tell you. These hoodlums are little demons. And one night a year, they amp it up and we try to reward them for it? No, 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 no. I won't stand for it. Not this year. <laughs> no, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Next person. Hey, I know you. Yeah, you know me. Come on. Uh, yeah. You can stop at the bottom. Hey. Name and let's go. Action. Uh, Joseph LeCompte, uh, reading for Eli. I can't stand this day, you know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks? It's not right, I tell you. It's not right. These hoodlums are little demons all year round and then on this one night, this one night, they amp it up and we reward them? No. No. Not this year. No, sir. Thank you, Joseph. Yeah. Name and action. 
named Jeff Plank. I can't stand this day, you know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks? It's not right, I tell you. These hoodlums are little demons all year, and then on this one night, we reward them. I won't stand for it, not this year, no sir. Okay. Uh, name and action. Ron McMahon. I can't stand this day. You know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks? It's not right, I tell you. These hoodlums are little demons all year, and then this one night, we, they amp it up, and we're supposed to reward them? I won't stand for it. Not this year, no sir. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Action. My name is Noah Staggs. I can't stand this day. Giving kids candy for dressing up and frightening folks. It's not right, I tell you. No, forget it, man. I already blew it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Noah. Have your, um, Eli, what? Yes, sir. He's got headshots that up there that do not have, are not conformed, do not have all your stuff yet. You need to give that to the gentleman up there. Hi, sir. How are you guys doing? Heck of a crazy day. Oh, that's done. Don't give me that. Uh, name and action. Billy Brown. I can't stand this day, you know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks. It ain't right, I tell you. You know, these hoodlums, they're demons all year. And on this one night, they amp it up and we reward them? I'm telling you, I won't stand for it. Not this year. No, sir. Thanks, Billy. All right, guys. Thank you very much, Billy. All right, guys. Hang in there. I know it's crazy. So, all the bleeding dolls and frightened girls must pay for the sins of their fathers. Come on, Jenna. Sing along with me. All the pretty girls. Come on, Jenna. You can do better than that. Come on. I know you got it in you. Come on, don't make me have to pull it out of you! Thanks. Thanks for that. I have your head shot, right? Yes. This is it right here, okay? Yes, great, okay, great. I'm going to get up there. Okay. Right here, my friend. Okay. Black? Yeah, okay. let me have your head shot. You make me walk? That's your lines. Okay. Uh, name and action. Dave Coffer. I can't stand this day, you know that? Giving kids candy for dressing up and trying to frighten folks. It's all right, I tell you. These hoodlums are little demons. All year and then on this one night, they amp it up and we reward them? I won't stand for it. Not this year. No, sir. Thanks, Dave. Are you reading for someone else? I saw you got two sheets. Oh, no, this was my uh, invite. Okay, got it. This was my invite. Thank you. Cool. Ready? Yeah, action. My name is Clark Mitchell. I'm reading for the part of um, Ellie. You know, I can't stand this day. Giving kids candy for dressing up frightening folks. It ain't right, I tell you. These little hoot rooms are demons. Oh, fucking year long. And then we turn around and we amp it and we reward it? Oh, come on. I ain't going for this. Not this year. No, sir. Uh-uh. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. Jay. Jay. Yeah. Cool. Whenever you're ready, just let your name you start. Name's John Vieira. 
turn yourself in. Are you fucking crazy? Don't you see, Edgar? This is the moment we were waiting for. We've always been waiting for. We've always had the thirst for violence and murder. Tonight was a step in the right direction, but we've barely begun to wet our whistle. Thank you. Hand this over to you guys. Yep. Thank you. Dakota. Yes. Cool name. Thank you. I want, I want that. Back on the little back. Uh, a little further. Right there. Are you reading four? Sorry. Lee? Lee? Go ahead. Action. I hope you guys don't mind. I know you typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot. So I thought maybe I could join in this year. I was at this party. It was lame. Uh, I, I took the boots. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. I don't mean to intrude. I'm sorry. Can, I, I'll give you another chance. Can you just, just a little bit louder? Yeah. Because the door keeps opening. And okay. I hey, I hope you don't mind. Uh, I know you guys typically come by and you watch horror flicks for Halloween. So I thought maybe I could join in this year. You know, I was at this party, it was pretty lame, so I took the booze and I came here. You know, I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I don't mean to intrude. Great. Thank you. Thanks, man. Who about this first? Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Just like name and action. I mean, it's Grace Winchell. So, so, so it? They have to go to work. Hope you don't mind. Action, go ahead, man. I mean, it's Chris Winch. I hope you don't mind. Typically, spent on means watching, uh, you know, horror flicks and whatnot. So I figured this year I might join in. You know, I was at this party. It was so lame. You know, I just I took the booze and I just had to go. It's just horrible. I'm intruding. Am I? Am I intruding? Am I intruding? Sorry. Do you mind doing it again? Yeah. Just, just, just <clears throat> so I say. Go ahead, action. <clears throat> Hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween, you know, watching horror flicks and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. I was at this party and it was just, it was so lame. I took the booze and I ran. <clears throat> you know. So, um,. I mean, I don't mean to intrude. Am I intruding? Really? Am I, I mean, am I intruding? I directed you something, not you specifically, but I was in one of, uh, I've seen it before. At least from Bobby's class. Yeah. yeah. No. I mean, hey. I'm gonna mute it on my end. Uh, just give me a second. Hold on. Yes, just like me, and then whenever you're ready, just do that. Okay, go for it. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Record. My name is Xavier Jimenez March. I hope you don't mind. I knew you guys spent Halloween watching horror films and stuff, so I thought I'd join you guys this year. Uh, I was at a party and it was lame, so I took the booze and came here. I hope I'm not intruding. I'm not. Even, am I intruding? I don't know if I was supposed to look at the camera or at someone else. It really doesn't matter. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you, guys. Yeah. What else? Um, you got your headshot? Or? No, yes, I mean, sir. I'm sorry. Next, that's just just okay, you yeah. will? Yes, he's telling me. That's you, right? That's you, right? I'm, no, no, no. I'm Zach. Did you're you not? Zach. Just take my headshot? Yeah. You got it? Or he's got it. You got it. Okay. Sorry, I just sent me all this stuff at once. I, I, those are the one that's coming in. Yeah, that's or, it. That's, that's Zach. Yeah. Okay. Everybody was invited, basically. <laughs> All right. Tough job today. <laughs> Name and then just action. What's that? Name and then action. Okay, cool. Hey, I'm Zach Courier. Can we just pull a one Marion? 
Uh, I hope you don't mind. I know you guys usually spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot, so I thought maybe I could join in this year. I was at a party, it was kind of lame, so I took the booze and, uh, you know, came here. I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I'm not intruding, am I? Do you want to do it one more time for me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. you want to straighten the lens or you want it anywhere special? Just, just act it out, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So you don't, don't, sister's don't, house. don't pay attention to this. Sister's house? Sister's and brother-in-law. Okay. They're, they've been together. They're not married, but, you know, every year they go to this. this you know, they hang out, watch movies, whatever, and help them make. Cool, so cool, cool. It's actually your sister's apartment. Sister's apartment. Cool. Yeah. Little brother. There we go. Go nice. for it, man. Action. Right. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot, so I thought maybe I could join in this year. Uh, I was at a party, it was kind of lame, so I took the booze and came here. I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I'm, am I? I'm not intruding. Perfect. Thanks. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a good one. Enjoy. Michael for Lee. I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot. So I thought maybe this year I could join in. I was at a party. It was so lame. So I took the booze and I came here. I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I'm not intruding, am I? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just let you know. Whenever you're ready, action. Uh, Fernando Gonzalez? Hey, I hope you don't mind, but hey, I know you guys typically spend Halloween together and, you know, watch your horror flicks or whatnot, but I, this year I decided to come in. And I was at a party. It was kind of lame, but I don't mean to intrude. Am I intruding? Am I? Thank you. Kind of us. I'm, 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 for, I'm foreigner. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, to uh, camera and don't don't pay attention to the camera. Just act it out and action. I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot. So I thought maybe I could join in this year. I was at a party. It was lame. So I took the booze and came here. I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I'm not intruding, am I? Thanks, man. Thanks. You're ready, action. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot. I thought maybe this year I could join in. I was at a party. It was lame. So, you know, I grabbed the booze and I came over here. I hope I'm not intruding. Intruding. I'm not intruding. Just tell me. You can tell me if I was intruding. Cool. Thanks, man. Good, buddy. Thank you. Just uh, let's keep him outside for a second, so so you can. Whatever you're ready. I hope you don't mind. I I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot, so I thought I maybe could join in this year. I was at a party, it was lame, so I took the booze and came here. I'm not, I'm not intruding, am I? I hope I'm not intruding. I'm not intruding, am I? Thanks, man. Thanks. Hold on, hold on. Whatever? Oh, cold. Come on. Frozen. I just thought I'd pay my little sis and, and you a surprise Halloween visit. Surprise? <laughs> I, I hope you, you don't mind. It, I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot, so I thought maybe I could join in this year. I was at a party, it was lame, so I took the booze and came here. I don't, I don't mean to intrude. I'm not intruding. I, I'm not intruding, am I? No. Oh, really? That seems odd, but sometimes I, I guess a uh, girl's gotta go out, right? You look, you look ready for a party. How? How? You didn't go. Thank you, man. Go Appreciate that. Just say you're ready. Just say you're ready. Blanca Avalos.
think that means I don't care about you? I've been under a lot of stress lately. I mean, every day I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. Can you blame me? You know, why would I, why would I want to see a reenactment of all the horrifying things that I've already witnessed here? Great, yes. thank you. Good job, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, whenever you're ready, action. Uh, Paulette Longery. Please, have you seen our little girl? Oh, please. We just want our baby back. We'll pay whatever you want. Please. And cut. Thank you. That was great. Really, really nice. Thank you so much. Whenever you're ready. Please, if you have seen our baby girl, please contact the police. Please, we just want our baby back. Please, we pay whatever you want. Uh, no, we got like a niche on you. Okay. I'm Dot Sabrock. Action. Please, if you have seen our little girl, contact the police. We just want our baby back. We will pay whatever you want. Please. Thank you. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so just like name and then action. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Pamela Wistrom, and I am Emily's mom. Please, if you've seen our little girl, please contact the police. Please. We just want our baby back. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. 
Hi, my name is Carolyn Meyer. Please, please, if you've seen our little girl, contact the police, contact the police. We just want our little baby back. Please, I will pay whatever you want, anything. Great, thank you. One more okay. Amity Givens. Yeah. Please, if you've seen our little girl, contact the police. We will pay whatever you want. We just want our little baby home. Please. It's uh, yeah um, between the gray little thingies and. Yep. Do you mind if I just? You can exercise yoga. Whatever you do. <laughs> Before you start, say your name and then go for it. Ready when you're ready. Yep. Action. And you think this means? I don't care about you or your work. I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So so yeah, maybe I don't care to hear about your films. But can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrible things I have ever witnessed? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so just like your name and then action. Whatever you're ready at. China Sky Patetsere. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Ave, and I just want to go home. Please, let me go home. I'll do anything, anything you want. Just let me go home. Cut. Cut. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini. Fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Raimi. Fuck both Babas. Fuck that faggot Eli Roth. And most of all, fuck. Joe Dante. Cut. Thank you. Cut. So the tape? Back up. No, no, in the center oh. in the black center. Back up here. And just that. don't pay attention to the camera. It's not that. Okay. Did you want me to look at one of you? Anybody. Mm -hmm. Just do acting. Have fun. Action. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chase and I live at 637 Meriden Avenue. I just want to go home. Please let me go home. I'll do anything you want me to. Just let me go. Cut. 
Cut. Thank you. This is my home. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, action. Would you like me to sleep? Yes, please. Mm. Don't look at the camera. Don't know what okay. Brenda Hayes. Why do you keep calling me Mary Ann? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. And I just want to go home. Please, let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Call me Marianne. My name is Emily Chasen. And I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. And I just want to go home. Please, just let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Just let me go home. So, gray lines over that. Whenever you're ready, in action. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen, okay? I live in 637 Meridian Avenue. Okay, cut. Thank you. Thank you. So name and action. My name is Vanessa Pisano. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian, Meridian, I'm sorry, couldn't say that way, Meridian Avenue, and I just want to go home. Please, God, just let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Please, just let me go home. Please. Let me go home. Thank you. Thank you. And just don't look at the camera, don't worry about it. Hi, my name is Heather Sims, reading for Emily. Why do you keep calling me Mary Ann? My name is Emily. Emily Jason. I live at 637 Meridian, and I just, I just want to go home. Please. Please, I'll do, I'll do anything, okay? I just, I just want to go home. Um, you've been tortured for two weeks, three weeks down in the basement. Can you just do it one more time? Yeah. Mary Ann! 
am. My name is Emily. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue, and I just want to go. I just want to go home. Please, please, please. I just, please, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I, I just want to go home. Thank you. Great. Much better. Act it out. Did you say? Don't pay attention. To don't pay thing. attention. Yeah. Do you want me? Is there anywhere? Whoever I'm speaking to, is is there an eye line you'd like me to use? Who are you reading for? I'm sorry. Marianne. The, I don't know the scene. It's just, the. Just read it the way you want to. And you think I don't care about you and your work, so I feel like. So you you, you pissed off. But is there somewhere? Speak to me. To you. Okay. Perfect. Go whenever. Yep. And you think that means I don't care about you and your work? I have been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with that. <laughs> Most of the time involving young girls tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So, yeah, sometimes I don't care to hear about your work. But really, can you blame me? Why would I want to witness, why would I want to reenact some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed. Cut. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Should I give these to you? Action. Sure. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Eversole with Mogan Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've, I've, uh, I've been under a lot of stress lately. And I, every day I deal with death most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe, uh, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Can, can I just stop you again? Can you just don't pay attention to the camera, just pay attention to Ed over here. Sure. And just, she's pissed off, she's mad, then she's annoyed. Just redo it again. Yeah. Thank you. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? <laughs> I've been stressed out lately. And <laughs> I, 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 every day I, I deal with death, most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed. So. Yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but can you blame me? I, I, no, I don't want to see a reenactment of the horrifying ways that they are all killed. Much Great better. cut. <laughs> awesome. It's good. It's a yeah, very well. Do I talk to yeah, the camera? Yeah, well, talk to the camera for your name and then do what you like. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is Marie Anderson, and I'm represented by Brand Model Talent and Associates. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romeo. Fuck Fulucci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Carmen. Fuck Hoover. Fuck Argentina. Fuck Savani. Fuck that guy that did Phantonism. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Ramini. Fuck Bo Bravis. Fuck that faggot Eli Roth. But most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Cut. Thank you. And you do the other ones? Was Marion next? Yeah. Did you do Marion next? Yeah, I don't have They didn't give me a side. Yeah, they ran on sides. Oh. Marianne. We're not getting yeah, this. Right. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with death. Most of the time, involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care about your films. But you, you can blame me. Why would I even want to see your films?
Some of it is the most horrifying things I have ever encountered. Thank you. Um, Dana Blue Santoyo. And you think that doesn't mean it means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. I deal with death every day. Can I start over? Sure. Sorry. And you think that means that I don't care about you or your work? Well, I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with death. And most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. <clears throat> but can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of something that I've witnessed, something unimaginable? <clears throat> Thank you. My name's Leticia Martinez. Excuse Guys, quiet out there, please. Sorry. And you think that this means that I don't care about your work? I've been under, under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death, most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. Can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Great, thank you. Thank you. Say your name and whenever you're ready, sweetie. Okay, my name is Hallie Villanueva. Um, just start. You wanna give her the you wanna give her the Make the pain go away, please. And you're pissed off at him because he put so much gel on his hair. So mad with the gel. But yeah. he smells okay. good. But he smells good. <laughs> I'm Jessica Robinson. And you think that means I don't care about your work? I've been really stressed lately. Every day I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and brutally murdered in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe I don't care about your films, okay? I have to see this on a daily basis. And this is the horrifying reality. Cut. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So you're doing for both Annabelle and Marion? That's cool. Okay. For Annabelle, just normal Marion, uh, she's pissed off. Just give her a little bit of direction. She's pissed off. Look at this lovely guy and just get mad. Annabelle, have fun. Okay. Just don't look at this guy. Okay. And you, and you think that I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. I deal with death every day. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured or killed in the most unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care about your films. Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things that I've ever witnessed? Cut. Right. Thank you. Let's go to. Uh, 
Whenever you're ready, action. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulcine. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini. Fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Raimi. Fuck both Babas. Fuck that faggy Eli Roth. And most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Brutal. you. Lovely guy, Marianne, too. Look, look at this guy. Marianne is pissed off. Marianne is pissed off? Marianne is pissed off. Both of them are pissed off. Okay. So have fun. Just go crazy. Say your name and then look at this guy when you read it up. Action. Hi, my name is Allie Holmes and I'm reading Marianne and Annabelle. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with that. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe I don't care to hear about your films, but can you, but can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut. <clears throat> fuck John Carpenter, fuck Wes Craven, fuck Clive Barker, fuck Del Toro, fuck Romero, fuck Pelucci, fuck Landis, fuck Corman, fuck Hopper, fuck Argento, fuck Fellini, fuck that guy that did Phantasm, fuck Uncle Floyd, fuck Rami, fuck Bobbis, fuck that faggot Elliot Roth, and most of all, fuck Joe Dante. But thank you. Thank you. Patience. Just, just have fun. Just have fun. You're an actress. You're an actress. Right. Yeah. Step it up. Hey, everybody. My name is Zoya Skye, and I'm reading from Marianne and Annabelle. And you think that means I don't care about your films? I'm dealing with a lot of stress lately. You know how many deaths I see every day? And most of the time, it is about young girls who are being tortured under some crazy Christmases. I don't care to hear about your films. And can you blame me for that? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some crazy stuff on the film? Cut. Cut. Same thing with Annabelle. You pissed off. Fuck John Carpenter, fuck Wes Craven, fuck Cliff Baker, fuck Del Toro, fuck Romero, fuck Fulci, fuck Argento, fuck Savici, fuck that guy that did Phantasm, fuck Uncle Lloyd, fuck Rami, fuck Boss Vavis, fuck that faggot Ellie Ross, and most of the fuck job! Cut, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get the nice action with yeah. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. Look at this lovely guy. I give her some direction. She's pissed off. She's mad. She's crazy. She's bipolar. She's everything in between. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Yell. Celeste hey. Tomasulo, reading for Marianne. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with a lot of deaths. Most of the time, involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So. Yeah, maybe, sometimes, I don't care to watch your films. I don't, I don't care to hear about your films. But can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some event of, of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. Awesome. We play off the read. All right, cool. All right. Thank you. I'm Maura Antis, and I'm going to be reading the role of Marianne. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. But can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right, Christina Russo. Action. And you think 
that that means I don't care about you or your work. I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. But can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut. Thank, Cut. You. Thank you. I appreciate you. it. Thank Thanks you. for coming out. Next. Next week. Come on, guys. Step it up. Go ahead. I'm Sari Adriana Sol, and I'm auditioning for the role of Marianne. Action. And you think that means I don't care about you or your work. I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death. Most of, most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable, un, unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but can you blame me? Why would, why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Next, please. Next. Are you my spouse partner? Or? Yes, I'm the guy. Okay. Can I have a second to prepare? And you think I don't care about you and your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately, okay? I see girls tortured every day. I deal with death every day. And you expect me to watch a reenactment of that? Can you blame me? Can you? I just, I don't understand. You tell me what you want, because I don't know what you want. <laughs> I really don't. Cut. Thank you. That was good. Thank you. That was yes, good. please. I really like that. I think uh, someone moved and did something. Science? That's good. That's, no, no. Yeah, that's why you hand that back to me. Next, between the lines, hand your headshots over here. That's fine. Your headshots on this side over here. Go hand them. And um, look in the camera, read, state your name, and then look at me on your read. Okay. You ready, Marianne? Uh, yeah, Marianne. Okay, Marianne, uh, pissed off, this guy, you hate him, and let it go. All right. Explode. Cool. Don't look at the camera, just for name and sure. the rest. Thank you. My name is Shaylin Scott, and I'm reading for Marianne. You think that means I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death. Most of the time involving girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I've ever witnessed? Cut, thank you. Cut. Thank Next. You. Thank you. Next, please. Yeah. Oh, look at this, this guy. Is so good. Yeah, so right, right. Between this tape. Yeah. Right. So again, you're pissed off, you're mad. Crazy, bipolar, look at this guy. You don't like him, you hate him. Okay. Have fun with him. Hi, my name is Melissa Denise Lopez, and I'll be reading for the role of Marianne. And you think that means I don't care about you? Or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day, I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, sometimes I don't care to hear about your films. But can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things that I've ever had to witness? Cut, thank you. Thank you. Cut, thank you. That was like Next. Good. First game, please. Just do your name and then action. Hi, I'm Shane Tucker, and I'll, I'm uh, auditioning for the role of King. So, I decided to give you some creative control. 
We're about to shoot the film's grand finale, but how should we do it? We could always use the machete. A big classic, even if a bit overdone. <laughs> or we could use this bad boy, huh? So what says you, Marianne? Thank you. Great. But Thank you. Next. Next tape, please. Between the tape, please. Oh. Tape behind you. You're right there. You're okay. good. Okay. Thank you. State your name and then, then you can start reading. Action. Uh, my name is Romeo Aragon. Uh, I'm reading uh, Kane. Pregnant? You're fucking pregnant? How the fuck could you? You think you're going to ruin my life? You think you're going to keep me tied down? You don't control me, you bitch. But thank you. Yeah. Thank Next, you. Please. thanks for coming out, sir. Okay. Marco Silvestri, reading for Kane. When you go back to your studios, in your executive offices, decide whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work. I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you are not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No. What you're doing is giving a poor, young, innocent girl closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Thank you all. Good. Thank you. Have a nice Thank you. Next. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. State your name and then action. Matt Wineglass. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and you discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I, I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No. What you're doing is you're giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girl some closure. You're setting Jenna Queen free. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Good. you. All right. Thank you. Sir. Next Look at the camera, state your name, and then after that you can start reading your reads. Tyler Gallant. When you go back to your studios and executive offices and you discuss whether or not it's financially responsible to invest in my latest work, I want you to think what's morally responsible. Because when you purchase distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you're not just buying this film and then just putting it out in the world for the public to see. You're going to set, you're giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girl closure. Cut, you're setting thank you. McQueen Cut, free. Thank you. The cut, thank you, that's Next good. Next please. Next. Hi, my name is Clem Novak, and I'll read the sides for Kane. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices, and you're going to discuss whether it's financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights for Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No, what you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, innocent girl closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Cut. Thank uh, you. Appreciate it. Next. Next, Kane, please. Say your name and go for it. Phil Pritchard, Kane. Advanced Talent Management. When you go back to your offices and your studios, and you think about what's financially responsible, about whether it's financially responsible to put money into my latest work. I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you are not just putting my work out into the public domain for the world to see, no. 
you are giving the family of a poor, innocent, young girl closure. You are setting Jenna McQueen free. Cut. Thank you. That was great. Uh, thank, thank you. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Next. That was good, sir. Thanks for coming out. A stay between those two lines when you read. Hi, my name is Nir Sayag and I'm reading for Kane. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you guys to think morally and responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights, the big aches love, you're not putting your out you're not putting into the public for the world to see. No. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girl closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Cut. Thank you. That was uh, thank you. Next. So Daniel. Yes. Now we're dealing with you. Hold on. Say it again. He didn't get it. Go ahead. Bobby Lee for the role of you. Don't look at the camera when you read. I'm reading now. Yeah. Action. Yes. Turn yourself in? <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? Don't you see, Edgar, this is the moment, this is the moment we're waiting for. We've been waiting for. We've always been, we've always had a, a thirst for violence, murder. Tonight was only a step in the right direction. But man, we've, we barely begun to wet our whistle. Right. Cut. Cut. All right, next. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We're ready when you are. All right. Do I need a Slater over here? Yeah, say your name, please. All right, my name is Alex Williams, Alexander Williams. Turn yourself in. Are you fucking crazy? Don't you see, Edgar, this? This is the moment we've been waiting for. We've always had a thirst for violence and murder. Tonight was a step in the right direction, but we've barely begun to wet our whistle. Cut, thank you, that's great. Thanks for coming. Next. Okay. Hi, I'm Jerry Hall, I'll be reading for the role of you. Turn yourself in? Are you fucking crazy? Don't you see, Edgar? This is the moment we've been waiting for. We've always been waiting for. We've always had a thirst for violence and murder. That night was a step in the right direction. But we've barely begun to wet our whistle. Great. Cut. Thank, Thank you. you. How you doing? My name is Geronimo Spinks. Turn yourself in. Are you fucking crazy? Don't you see, Edgar? This is the moment we've been waiting for. What we've been always waiting for. We've always had a thirst for violence and murder. Tonight's, tonight is just a step in the right direction, but we've barely begun to quench our thirst. Alright, All thank, thank you. you. Next, please. Edgar. Ready, ready, action. Good. Quiet. I feel... I feel like... Okay, you know in Halloween 2, and yes, I know it's not a great movie, but it has some solid moments, but you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael's her brother? I've always wondered what she felt like at that moment, and now I know. Cut, thank you. Next. Next, Edgar, please. Okay, Edgar's a little crazy. Okay. My name is Christopher Levine, I'll be reading for Edgar. <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like, you know on Halloween 2, when, uh, you know, and, and I know it's not a great movie, but it, it's got good moments, right? And, and, but you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael is her brother? Oh, I always wondered what it would be like to, you know, feel that. 
Cut. Yeah, Thank you. Done. That was good. Thanks. Yes, Next, please. Okay. Hi, my name's Brian Metron. I feel like, I feel like you know, in Halloween 2. And I know, yes, it's not a great movie, but god damn, it has some great moments on it. You know when Loomis tell Roy that Michael is his brother? I always wonder how Lori was feeling that, that whole time. Now, now I know. Cut, thank you, that was good. Next, thanks for coming out, we appreciate it. Okay. Hi, my name is Leandro Simone. I feel, I feel like in Halloween too. I know it's a great, it's a great movie, but it has solid moments. But you know when Loomis tells Lowry that she's her brother? I was wondering the, what ha she might be feeling when she heard that. Now I know it. Great, cut. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Next Edgar, please. Hi, my name is Don McRain Gabriel. Read for Edgar. Entertain us. I feel, I feel like, you know, in Halloween 2, and yes, I know it's not a great movie, but it has solid moments. But you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael is her brother? I don't know, I always wonder what Lori must have been feeling when she heard the news. Now I know. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Next second, huh? please. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just don't look at the camera, okay? Uh, I know it's I know, I know it's like completely just if you want to take a minute to What's what's the scene real quick? Uh, is this the introduction to the thing? Introduction but the film? I don't know what they gave. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices, discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into the latest work. I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No, no, what you're doing is giving my family a poor, young, and innocent girl closure. You're setting Gina McQueen free. Thank you all. Have a nice evening, and please, drive safe. One more time, slow it down. Uh, a little more yeah, time. more time. We're giving you more chances than okay. everybody else, so. Right. Uh, slow it down, not that, that, that much passion. It was good at the beginning, just okay. it's... When you go back to your studios and your executive offices, and discuss whether or not it be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to pickaxe love, you're not putting my film into the public for the world to see, no. No, what you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, innocent girl closure. You're setting the queen, Jenna McQueen free. Thank you all. Have a nice evening and please drive safe. Great, thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. So say your name and then okay. action. Hi, I'm Matt O'Rourke and I'll be reading for the role of Edgar. I feel... I feel like you know on Halloween too, and yes, I know it's not a great movie, but it has its solid moments. But you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael is her brother? I've always wondered what Lori must be feeling when she heard that. Now I know. Good, thanks, so next. Thanks, Nick. Have you ready? Name and action. Hi, my name is Joey, and I'm going for the role of Edgar. I feel... I feel like, you know when Halloween 2, and yes, I know it's not a great movie, but it has solid moments. But you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael is a brother? I always wondered what Lori must have been feeling when she heard that news. Now I know. Cut, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, please. Okay, so you slate your name and then get right into it. Hi, my name is Thomas Capuano and I'm auditioning for Edgar. I feel... I feel like you know in Halloween too. <laughs> and yeah, I know it's not a great movie, but uh, it has its moments. But you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael's her brother? I always wondered what Lori must have been feeling when she heard that news. Now I know. Great. Cool. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. In a, in a dungeon being tortured. Okay. 
back up a little bit. Standing or between sitting? the lines? No, you gotta stand right there. You just okay. say your name and then go forward. Caitlin King reading for Emily. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasson. I, I live at 637 Meridian Avenue, please. I just want to go home. Please, I just, I just want to go home. I, I don't know. Well, I'll do whatever you want, please. I just, I just want to go home. Cut. Thank, Thank you. you. That was great. That was good. Someone do, was do, fucking do, do, do me one more. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasson. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. Please, I just want to go home. Please, I'll, I'll do anything. Please, just, I just want to go home. Let me go home. Oh, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Say your name, go ahead. Hi, my name is Alexandra Marie. Why do you keep on calling me Marianne? God, my name is Emily. Emily Chasson. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. God, and I just, I just want to go home. Please, just, just let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Let me go home. Cut. Thank Great. you. Cut. Thank Next. You. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Good afternoon. My name is Brandy Zapata. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily. Emily Chasson. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. 637 Meridian Avenue. Please just let me go home. I'll do anything you want. I'll, I'll do anything. Please just, just let me go home. Cut. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thanks. Next. Lisa Durst, reading for Emily. Why do you keep calling me Mary Ann? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. And I, I just want to go home. Please, please just let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Please just let me go home. Cut. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Thank Next. You so much, right, so just slate your name and then go into it. Hi, my name is Kristen White. I'm self represented and I'm reading for the role of Marianne. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue. I just want to go home. Please. I just want to go home. Cut. Thank you. That was great. Yeah, Next. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Have a good day. My name is Katrina Zbegner, and I'm reading for the part of Emily. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Ave, and I just want to go home. Please, I just want to go home. I'll do whatever you want. Just let me go home. Cut. Thank you. Yes, that please. was good. Next. Thanks for coming out. And do your lines. Passion. Um, you've been tortured for two weeks, so you're kind of like in a place where you, you're just you're just distraught. You're, you're just mad. You're pissed. You want to go home. Gotcha. Hey, I'm Michaela Whitman. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name's Emily Jason. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue, and I just want to go home. Please, let me go home. I'll do anything you want. Just let me go home. Cut. Thank you. That was great. Thanks Thank for coming you. out. Okay. Next. Hey All right. Okay, to bring in the next people. Next person. 
When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film into the public for all the world to see. No, what you're doing is you're giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girl closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Cut. Thank you. All right, you're going to do another read, right? Do you want me to do it now? Or no, when I don't do you know. know. Edgar? I don't know what he's doing. Are you doing? Are you doing? Edgar as well. Just, um, yeah, do it. Do it now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I feel... I feel like, you know in Halloween 2, and yeah, I know it's not a great movie, but it has solid moments, but, but you know when Loomis tells Lori that Michael is her brother? I always wondered what, it, what Lori must have been feeling when she heard that news. Now I know. Cut. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Thank you. All right. Like oh, you can have it in So look at me when you read and, don't, and just say your name in the camera. Okay. All right. I am Joe Willen. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you to think about what's morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film out into public for the world to see. No. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girl closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Cut. Thank, Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Which cane do you have? I got it. Right. You know what you do. Cane just comes. <laughs> so I decided to give you some uh, creative control. Okay? Because uh, we're about to film some creative control. <laughs> but, but how should we do it? How should we do it? How should we do it? We could use. Uh, Done, but you know, I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> What's the you here?
Jade's holidays. <laughs> Jade's holidays. Ugh. So much. I love you so much. And I just want you to be happy. So I want you to sigh. Come on, baby. Sigh for me. Sigh for me. Sigh for me. <laughs> When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I, 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 I want you to think about what's normally responsible. Uh, when you purchase the distribution rights, uh, say, uh, Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No, 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 no. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, innocent girl Closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Have compassion for yeah, Jenna McQueen. Yeah. Let's start. Let's start again. Yeah. And normal. Normal. Yeah. Normal. You're, you know, the investors. Uh, no. Room full about fifty people. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. Room. So you're at a full. screening. You're, you just screened your your film. Oh, it's nice like trying to get money. Presentation. Trying to get money. Presentation. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're just more composed. Yeah. You're like more. Right, right, right. Passion in that you, Jenna McQueen, not so much. It's Jenna McQueen, she deserves that. You know, so it's more like caring. Yeah, right. passion. This is the compassion and caring side. Okay, yeah. gotcha. The side Marianne loves. <laughs> so, uh, do you mind if I go back to the top on this one? You can take as much time as you want. Yeah, okay. Just have fun. It's not like in a hurry. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss. <laughs> Whether or not it would be financially responsible to put money into my latest work, I want you to think about what's normally responsible. When you purchase the di distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No, no, no. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young, Innocent girl, closure. You're setting Jenna McQueen free. Thank you all. Have a nice evening and, and please drive safe. Thank you. Just yes. give him life. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. So between the, that contrast upon. Uh, just let you know, you were. You, I think it's the monologue. You're in front of investors and you're pitching your next movie. A little passion when you, see, you hear the word Jenna, because, you know, you kind of made that for her. So, it's very simple. In front of uh, your investors, it's about 100, 200 people in the <clears throat> crowd. You know. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Action. When you go back to your studios and your executive office, and discuss whether or not it could be financially responsible to put money into my late day's work. I want you to think about that morally responsible. When you purchase the distribution right to Brick Sox Love, 
You are not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No! What you are doing is giving the family of a poor, young, and innocent girls closer. You are sitting Gina McQueen free. Thank you, Thor. Have a good evening and say free to your house. Thank you so much for everything. Responsible audience. Good night. Great. Thank you so much. Cristina Treviso, reading for Annabelle. John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Cormac. Fuck Hoover. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini. And fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Riney. Fuck both the fathers. Fuck that faggot Eli Roth. And most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Great, thank you. Thank you. Next, please. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. And fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman. And fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Salvini. Fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Raimi. Fuck both Bavas. Fuck that faggot named Eli Roth. But most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Great cut. Okay, I'm gonna give her. All right. Um. That's Savini and stuff like that. So whenever you're ready, action. Fuck John Carpenter and fuck Wes Carvin and fuck Raimi and both Bavas. Fuck Phantasm! You know what? And most of all, fuck Joe Dante! That's right. Fuck him! Fuck Joe Dante! Hmm? Huh? You know what else? Fuck that faggot Eli Roth! Fuck him! Fuck all those stupid people! Huh? Falsy and Landis? Fuck him! Fuck him! Wait, cut. Well, you're gonna die afterwards, but just. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck John Carter. Fuck the one who made the phantasm. You know what? Fuck Argento. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck all of them. Fuck Corin. Fuck Rimey. The both Babas. Fuck. All of them, and fuck you too! You know what? Fuck that faggot. Joe Dante, fuck him! Yeah, fuck him. Fuck all of you. Cut, that's good, thank oh. you. Awesome. Next. Yes, please. Action. 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 Action.
Hi, my name is Sabrina Ramos. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corbin. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini. Fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. Fuck Raimi. Fuck both Bravas. Fuck that faggot Eli Roth. And most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Great. Cool. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Just say your name and then go for it. Hi, my name is Julie Sabre. I'm here to read for Annabelle. Fuck Joan Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Cliff Parker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman. Fuck everybody. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini. And fuck that guy that did phantasm shit. Fuck both Babas. And fuck that faggot Ellen Rose. You know what? Fuck them all. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You say your name and then go for it. Hi, I'm Dominique Reed. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. And fuck Landis. And fuck that bitch Corman too. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Sabini. And, and uh, fuck that guy that did Phantasm. Fuck Uncle Lloyd. And fuck Ramirez. You know what? Fuck both of the Bobbises. And fuck that faggot Elliot Roth. And most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Thank you. Thank you so much coming. Recording in action. Hi, my name is Sierra Costello. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro. Fuck Romeo. Fuck Dulcie. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman, fuck Hooper, fuck Argento, fuck Sabini, fuck the guy that did Phantasm, fuck Uncle Lloyd, fuck Rami, fuck both Favits, fuck the little faggot Ellie Roth, and most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Cut. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming yeah. out. We appreciate it. Next. Okay, just say your name and then go for it. Hi. Hi, my name is Vital Handeron. John Carpenter, fuck Wes Craven, fuck Clyde Barker, fuck Del Toro, fuck Romero, fuck Fluisi, Hooper, fuck, fuck Carbon, fuck Hooper, fuck Argento, fuck Stavini, fuck that guy that did that phantasm, fuck Uncle Lloyd, fuck Romini, fuck Bode Davis. Fuck that faggot Daily Road. And most of all, fuck up John Dante. Cut. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more Annabelle. And just take your name and go for it. Three Lynn Massey. Fuck John Carpenter. Fuck Wes Craven. Fuck Clive Barker. Fuck Del Toro and fuck Romero. Fuck Fulci. Fuck Landis. Fuck Corman. Fuck Hooper. Fuck Argento. Fuck Savini, fuck that guy at the Phantasma, fuck Uncle Lloyd, and fuck Rimey. Fuck both Bavis, fuck the faggot Ellie Roth, and most of all, fuck Joe Dante. Cut, thank you. Thank cool. you. Thank you. We have a pickup. Jared Bogosian. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot, so I thought I could join in. I was at a party. It was lame. So I took the booze and thought I'd come here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not intruding, am I? I mean, I, mean, I, I hope I'm not intruding. I, I'm, I'm not intruding, am I? Um, you're going to your sister. Let's try one more time. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind. I know you guys typically spend Halloween watching horror flicks and whatnot. So I thought maybe I would join in this year. I was at a party. It was lame. So I took the booze and thought I'd come here. 
I, I don't I don't mean to intrude. I hope I'm not intruding. I mean, I'm not intruding, am I? Oh, Great. Excellent. Do you want to do you want do you want to do uh, Marianne? I could. Two. I mean two. Do Emily first and then do Marianne. Okay. Yeah. So Emily's been tortured for the last two months by this bastard, and uh, okay. you're just tired of it. Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue, and I just want to go home. Please just let me go home. I'll do anything you want, just let me go. <laughs> So we know this is completely frozen read here. Yeah. Okay. Totally. <laughs> Everybody's using my word. Frozen read. Well, you, you know, you, you set the stage as standard. And you think that doesn't mean that I care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death. Most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but but you. <laughs> But you can blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I have ever witnessed? Slow it down. Okay. Visualize the murders. Okay. Sure. Your scenes are these little girls getting chopped up to okay. pieces. Okay. Okay. So you, this is what this is your life. This is what you see every okay. single day. And sure. your husband makes films about this. Gotcha. And he winds up stealing cases from you. Gotcha. Okay. And an FBI agent. Sure. <clears throat> and you think this doesn't mean I don't care about you or your work? I've been under a lot of stress lately. Every day I deal with death, most of the time involving young girls who are tortured and killed in unimaginable ways. So yeah, maybe sometimes I don't care to hear about your films, but can you blame me? Why would I want to see a reenactment of some of the most horrifying things I have ever witnessed? Good. Good. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks Great. for coming. All these I people. Just All right. Slate your name and go for it. Hello there, Johnny Solomon. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I prepared something here. Listen, everyone. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and discuss whether or not it would be the financial responsibility to put more money into my latest work. I want you to think about what's moral responsible. When you purchased end distribution rights to Pix Axe Love, you're not putting my film out into the public for the world to see. No. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, young and innocent girl closure. What you're doing is you're setting Jenny, Jenna McQueen free. Listen, thank you, all, thank you all. Have a nice evening, and please, I'm safe. Nice, man. Johnny, I didn't know we could act. Good job. The, 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 the end scene for Kane. The end scene for Kane. All right, all right. I decided to give you some creative control here, man. We're about to film the grand finale. But how should we do it? Hmm. We could use the machete. Hmm. Always a classic. Even a bit overdone, but... Or we can get really messy and use this bad boy. Yeah! What do you say, you... Marianne? Nice. Oh, thank you. Johnny, you surprised? I just want to go home.
must be a misunderstanding. Please, I just want to go home. I won't tell anybody. Yes, there is a misunderstanding. Because I've already told you. It's okay. You know, we all say things we regret sometimes. But you are home now. No. You be a good girl. Stop, please. I'll be back. I'll be back to check on you, okay? Shots, uh, plan it out in your head, kind of like with, with uh, Ed is talking and, and, and Emily. Kind of. And if I'm in inside, just doing it. I just want to make sure that was the first one. Yeah. <coughs> so, um, so, when are we ready? Uh, action! Marianne, everything I've done for you! Why do you keep calling me Marianne? My name is Emily Chasen. I live at 637 Meridian Avenue, and I just want to go home. Please, just let me go home. I'll do anything oh, you want. Oh, come on, sweetie, <laughs> don't cry. Marianne, please. Come on, I want the world to see your beautiful, pretty face. Come on, sweetie, come on. <laughs> Just like you were on our wedding day. Come on, little girl. Can you remember how beautiful you were? Did you see that? I said, answer me, damn it, did you see that? Leave me alone, you sick fuck! <laughs> um, we're going to 35, right? Yeah, we're going to 35. Pregnant, and then I'm blaming you for it, obviously. And then, um, so right after I climbed the ditch, I slap you again, okay? And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll start shaking you like this. Shut up, shut up. Um, and then you cry harder, then you let me go, okay? And then I'm gonna come in and like, do that. I'm not gonna press hard on your cheeks, but then this is actually gonna be your mouth gets some shut. Yeah, but I say, I say that like, one little thing is very deep. Yeah, yeah. Like, so me up, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're gonna yeah. change it <coughs> for, from the side. Yeah, so you, yeah, you say like, uh, you're, um, hurting. you're hurting me, and then, yeah. And then you switch me up. Yeah. <coughs> Are you guys ready? Um, action! Gonna ruin my life? You think you're gonna shoot me so I can? You don't fucking just ruin me! You bitch! God! Why do you keep calling me Marianne? Please, just let me go home. Shut up! Just shut up! Please, just let me go home!
My name is Tyler Penn. Right. Reading for King. Action. When you go back to your studios and your executive offices and to discuss the, the financial responsibility of investing into my next work, <laughs> I want you to think about what's morally responsible. Okay? Because when you purchase the distribution rights to Pickaxe Love, what you're doing is not sending my next work out into the world for the public to see. No. What you're doing is giving the family of a poor, innocent, helpless child closure. Thank you all. Drive safely, and please have a good night. Cut. Whenever you're ready, just go. Decided to give you creative control. All right? We're about to film the grand finale. <laughs> now, how should we do it? Huh? Should we use the machete? Always a classic, if not a bit overused. Or can we get really, really messy and go for this bad boy? Huh? <laughs> what says you, Marianne? According, action. I, I've decided to give you creative control. We're about to film the grand finale. <laughs> No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> but how should we do it? Oh, 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 we could use the machete? Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's a classic. <laughs> if not a bit overdone. Yeah, yes. Or we could get really, really, really fucking messy with this bad boy. Huh? Huh? Yeah. What says you, 